Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. So I did actually want to go ahead and do a quick follow-up on my Samsung 980 Pro review and uh, follow up with a couple of uh, benchmarks over here. So as previously done, I do have uh, three pieces of software here to actually do some benchmarking. Obviously the Samsung Magician software that does come with the SSD, you can download that from Samsung's website. We also do have the Crystal Disk Mark as well right over here. And one final one, the Addo Disk Benchmark software as well here as two. So let's go ahead and get one of these up and going and see some sweet numbers going on here. In my review, I actually already did run a benchmark with this, but I went ahead and uninstalled and reinstalled it just to do a fresh one and to get it going over here. So let's go ahead and see what numbers is software here and if there's any variation between all three pieces of software and benchmarks. And, uh, you know, actually take a look at what each one thinks and um, reports as well too. Let's get this going here. Some pretty good numbers have already been seen on this uh, particular SSD. And uh, I definitely don't expect that to change here. The numbers are probably gonna look really impressive. The reads are probably gonna hit around the 7K range. The writes are probably gonna hit around the 5K range and so forth. It's actually pretty helpful here that this particular benchmark does actually tell us, uh, you know, just how much uh, time is actually left for the set complete. And of course, it doesn't disappoint. You actually see a little over 7,000 megabytes a second benchmark as well too. And we're already pretty much uh, past 50% for this benchmark here. Interesting that it doesn't show that it did run this ben benchmark before, but I believe possibly just because I uninstalled and reinstalled and no profiles actually saved on the computer. So just something to keep in mind if you actually want to wipe this out. Yeah, and the write speed's about to show up here in just a moment. Look at that little ad window again. Um, the 980 Pro um, does have its uh, slightly slower counterpart, which is just basically the Samsung 980. And uh, just uh, bear in mind if that drive, that budget drive does catch your eye, it is not PCI Express 4. It's actually still 3. So you still get some really good speeds, really impressive numbers, but just something to bear in mind that your bottleneck will be that still on the slightly older PCI Express uh, third generation. And we're just about done here. We did get a pretty decent write speed of a little over 5,000 megabytes a second. Really impressive. And here we go. There are your numbers here. The benchmark took just a little under two minutes to do. So let's go ahead and um, close this program here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of my favorite uh, benchmark software is over here. Make sure the software is completely closed. And get Crystal Dismark opened up over here. You can actually customize this a little bit. Sometimes you can make this uh, buttons blue and have little icons and pictures and logos and GIFs appear. Let's go ahead and let's do a number, uh, basically a two cycle benchmark over here. Usually by default set to five. That might just take a little bit too long. So let's do a two. Make sure you got the right drive. <laughs> There was a person out there on YouTube who did a benchmark and I was wondering why it was slow and he accidentally benchmarked the wrong drive. So just uh, be sure to keep that in mind here. Get this benchmark going. This particular piece of software is free and available to download the Crystal Dismark. You can already see the first cycle is already reporting a pretty decent number here and obviously probably going to average the numbers out. This actually is showing a slightly ever so slightly lower number than the Samsung drive. It's showing about 6,500 megabytes a second. So there definitely is a variation here. Some more read speeds coming in as well too. I'm actually really curious to see what the write speed is going to be. I did actually notice that this um, software did slightly report um, slower speeds on the 970 Pro uh, previously reviewed in another video some time back. And seems like this uh, 990 Pro is no exception, still uh, giving slightly lower numbers here. But I mean, for what it's worth, uh, these numbers are still really high, still close to the 7K mark. If you're actually doing benchmarks and getting speeds that are significantly lower, 4, 3K even, that might be a problem. I did actually mention in my review video that Samsung has recognized there's a little issue with their 980 Pro. Um, I would say some weeks after you, the drive has been in use. 
some numbers begin to slow down, so to speak. I forget if it's the read or the write that's actually affected with here, but I believe a firmware update is in the works, so I probably should definitely go check that out. Write speeds definitely look a little better, very, very close to the 5K area than the read. And let's just go ahead and see what the other numbers demonstrate here as well, too, and then we'll run one more benchmark with the Addo Disk Benchmark software as well, too, and see what numbers they give us there. If you are actually going to update the firmware on this drive, don't forget to keep all your very important data backed up somewhere, just in case uh, it unfortunately wipes out your data on that uh, particular drive. Pretty good habit to actually keep your data backed up, particularly anything on the C drive, documents, pictures, and other stuff. Unless, of course, you use cloud storage. I personally don't, but cloud storage, I can definitely see the benefit in situations like this of having your stuff backed up if you trust the company or the software that is uh, dealing with your data right there. Just another thing to keep in mind as well, too. Our benchmark here is done. You can actually see the numbers over here. And here we go. Read speeds of about 6,500, 6,600 actually, um, 6,598, 6,600 for read speeds and write speech, just a little under 5K, hardly any at all, hardly noticeable in real-time performance, uh, the variation and difference uh, between this offer and the Samsung. So let's go ahead and run our last and final benchmark software here, the Addo software. Make sure that the software is completely closed out. Looks like it is. And here we go. get this started probably leave everything on default and boom benchmark is now in progress this software usually gives you slightly different numbers uh, to report but let's just see what basically it tells us over here pretty uh, interesting chart kind of form here that's uh, very useful in um, for demonstrations and actually to show numbers, a lot of numbers here. As I mentioned before, the numbers just don't lie. This drive is absolutely an amazing speed and uh, really looking forward to using it on my main PC. Once I can actually get my hands in there on a <laughs> Ryzen 5900 or 5950X CPU, which uh, of course has still been an issue about six, seven or eight months after the initial release in late 2020. These numbers are starting to look up as uh, the test results come in. See if we see that uh, nice, wonderful speed of about six to seven gigabytes a second in terms of rate, and read speed of about anywhere just a little under or about five gigabytes a second as well too. Anyone who's actually dealt with hard drives since the 1990s or late 1990s as well too, and then turn into the new millennium will actually remember uh, hard drive benchmarking, I would say, you know, hitting speeds of about 100 megabytes a second from a physical mechanical hard drive. And now, about 20 years later, now we're actually seeing drives that are hitting <laughs> in the gigabytes, which is uh, absolutely astonishing and uh, really interesting as well, too. A couple of details about the 980 Pro that I'm using here. I do not have a customized heatsink on it. Nor am I using the little heat sink that would probably come with a motherboard. Usually some motherboards have a little built-in heat sinks that have to have a little metal piece or plate removed. You install your SSD in the NVMe slot and then replace and put back the little metal piece back on top that basically serves as some sort of heat sink to keep the drive uh, nice and cool and avoid any sort of throttling. I don't actually have that here at this time, so... If there is some throttling to some degree, um, we'll actually show up here, but it doesn't really look like it's actually going to be doing that as we're seeing read speeds past six gigabytes a second and read speeds starting to approach five and we're already surpassing 4.5 gigabytes a second as well too. Very thorough and interesting piece of software here for a benchmark. You can actually see it does give you many, many options, specifically benchmarks for file size types over here and additional details as well too. 
pretty interesting to see down here, the transfer rates, gigabytes a second, you can actually see the option of eight, which would probably be surpassed if I actually put two 980s in RAID mode. Even two 970 Pros in RAID mode will probably surpass that number. And that's actually astonishing. Um, again, these numbers look absolutely amazing. They don't lie. But um, if you're actually wondering the difference between a 970 Pro and a 980 in real-time use, particularly if you're gonna be using it for gaming or just seeing your computer boot up, the difference probably really won't be hardly noticeable. Um, other things such as uh, rendering, encoding, um, will probably definitely show you a pretty good number and difference right there. Our benchmark here is complete. And you can actually see here that it has approached uh, about 6.2, 6.23. Seems to be the highest number of gigabytes a second. Read speed is a little bit under five gigabytes a second. So slightly slower numbers than Crystal Dismark and definitely slower numbers than Samsung Magician software as well too. I don't believe I'm actually running into any sort of uh, throttling on the SSD at this time. I probably would have slowed down hmm, probably significantly more than this, but these numbers still look amazing. Still a variation from the original software, so just something to keep in mind. Good idea to have a couple of second or third opinions in terms of benchmarking, especially if you're gonna be using benchmark software provided by the actual manufacturer, in this case, Samsung. So, still really good numbers, and <laughs> they just don't lie. This drive is absolutely fast, amazing, and definitely worth it. If you do catch it on sale, I have seen the one terabyte model, which uh, this is basically the model we were running the benchmark on. Hovering at around 199 um, US dollars here for the one terabyte. There is now a two terabyte model that came out some months after the original 512 and one terabyte as well too. 500 gigabytes actually, sorry. So here we go. I hope you guys found this video very useful. Got any uh, questions or comments, by all means let me know. Should have liked and subscribe. I'll definitely be doing some more uh, benchmarking and reviews as well too on new hardware. I am hoping to get my hands on a 980, Samsung 980 SSD, but unfortunate news is coming in little by little that SSD prices have been kind of sneaking up a little bit and uh, unfortunately related to why other pieces of software prices have been going up too. Well anyway, thanks again for watching and as always, stay safe.